First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Overall, lately, the trend has been for the severe weather to be either west or north of us. And that all has to do with the jet stream, the upper winds and how they've been flowing through that part of the country. So they've been privy to more of the severe weather than we have here in southern Kentucky. Now, as we get on into next week, there will be some rain chances. And with a significant cold front coming through, maybe we could see some severe weather here, maybe even some beneficial rains coming out of that. Temperature is going to take a big dive, though behind that front. 62 this morning. We've seen a few showers north of us up around Breckenridge County and Hardin County. Those have since dissipated as a cold front is making its way across the area. There could still be an isolated shower too that comes about because of that cold front. It's a very weak front, but as it comes on in, it will bring in a little bit more in the way of filtered air for this time of the year, a little less humid air too, which will be a nice change. 62 is the current temperature reading right now in Bowling Green. Rain chances though, as I mentioned, are going to change over the next uh, few days. Here's the precipitation chances. We've thrown in that 20% chance that somebody today could pick up a shower uh, with that uh, cold front that is passing through. But over the course of the next several days, not much in there for Friday and Saturday. Sunday in the afternoon with the approach of the next cold front coming in, the rain chances do go up to 40%, but then 50% on Monday, that may not sound like a lot, but there's the possibility that that number could go way up based on the latest computer forecast model trends. And if that is true, we're looking at significant rainfall coming for Monday with that cold front down to 30% on Tuesday, then back to nothing on Wednesday. But here's the thing, when that front comes through, temperatures are going to take a significant dive from the 90s into the 70s, upper 70s by next Wednesday. That is bonus weather for the middle of July in our part of the country. We've got some comfortable temperatures out there this morning. Campbellsville at 58, 59 at the Mezzanet site in Adair County in Columbia. There's 58 in Burksville, 60 in Munfordville, 62 even here in Bowling Green, 61 in Russellville. That is nice weather and this is nice too. Live from Doppler Cam, just a few high clouds, but beautiful sunrise here this morning. We're at 62 degrees. The winds are coming out of the east-northeast at three miles per hour. That little weak frontal boundary trying to work through the area now. 99% relative humidity barometer is falling. Edmonton, you're starting mainly clear this morning. On our AAA Systems Weather Cam Network, you're at 64 degrees. And as we uh, head out to the north of us, with the uh, cold front coming through, you're seeing a few more clouds in Munfordville. Your temperature is at 60 degrees. Russellville, you're mainly clear. Your temperature at 61. Air quality, UV is running still very high today, but unchanged, the pollen, ozone, and molds are all low, mainly grass pollen that's out there. 86 today for Campbellsville. 85 for Greensburg, 84 for Columbia, all that around the Green River Lake area. And by the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot for Saturday night estimated to be at $40 million. And the next Mega Millions drawing estimated to be at $32 million. Numbers here showing more tranquil and actually a little less humid 60s off to the north while it's still muggy into the 70s to the south 63 our temperature right now that's pacing nine degrees cooler than at this hour just yesterday morning and those couple of fronts with the one that brought us the showers yesterday morning and the one that's coming through right now is helping us keep the temperatures down a little bit from where they have been still wouldn't be surprised to see a shower or two popping up the better chances of rain though way out in the central plains. High pressure in control of our weather. Here comes that next front that is making its way through the area right now. So we'll be the benefactors of some very nice weather here for today and tomorrow and maybe part of the beginning of the weekend. It is the latter half of the weekend which will watch the heat come back along with the humidity that's going to come back and then the rain chances that are going to come 
on the tail end of that system as we get closer to Sunday. Mostly sunny today, an isolated shower just kind of thrown in there, a high of 87. For tonight, mostly clear, seasonable 64. Tomorrow, we'll make it up to a mostly sunny 89, 91 Saturday. More heat, humidity for the weekend. And there are those big time rain chances, especially Monday. But look what it does to the temperature. 86 on Tuesday. How about just 79 for Wednesday?